Hello everyone, welcome to Sushual. Today I will continue my Red Velvet OSC journey. Uh, first one will be Wendy, her SM Rookie song called Because I Love You from an Mnet drama, Mimi. It's a music video, so let's go in three, two, one, go. Oh, beautiful shot. Very well shot. This is her pre debut. Ah, Max. She almost sounds a bit mature here. Compared to now. Hmm. She has a little bit of a raspy voice here. Really nice uh, pre debut song. Makes you understand why SM chose her uh, to debut in Red Velvet later on. <laughs>
Wow. <laughs> wow. Um. And this was her pre-debut. <laughs> wow. Um, <clears throat> what to say? I mean, that was just fantastic uh, singing abilities already. And I think this was in, yep, 2014. Uh, so maybe like just a couple of months before she would debut. Uh, with Red Velvet uh, the same year. Whew. Wow. Um, she really sh uh, showed off her uh, singing abilities early on, and this is. I actually love the idea behind sing, uh, SM Rookies because uh, it's a nice um, way to introduce. Uh, uh, new uh, singers and artists before they did before they debut in a group show off their singing abilities or acting abilities or whatever they're going to do uh, uh, for the public and uh, give them a taste of what's to come and then if uh, that way when they do I mean, to be honest, she, mm, she could have just as well uh, started as a solo artist based on this. Based on this, she could have just started a solo career instead of going to Red Velvet. But it's, at the same time, I'm glad that she joined Red Velvet because isn't she born in 96 or is it 94? Might be 90. A 94 fee, you know? Because I'm pretty sure she's around 25 or something now. I know Irene was born in 91. And I'm pretty sure that. Uh, Jerry is born in like 98 to 99, something like that. She's much younger. She's the she's truly the youngest of them. Uh, okay, now I'm <laughs> now I'm rambling about their age. Never never mind. Uh, fantastic song, fantastic uh, pre debut, fantastic start on her uh, career. Yep, yeah, that's it. <laughs> now. Let's go to her next song. Uh, and this one is not pre debut. This one is <clears throat> Return from Who Are You School 2015 OST. Uh, so, uh, so let's go. Three, two, one, go. I mean, K-pop 
I think isn't this the type of music that um, Dreamcatcher is doing? Which is cool. Showing off something different. I love the contrast with Wendy's voice and the rap. I said I would love it and forever to do an entire album like this. <laughs> Let them rock out. Fantasy, another fantasy song. And like I said, this is something a bit different. I'm 90% sure that they n have never done this type of uh, genre. Rock. Uh, I know Girls' Generation have done some uh, rock uh, songs. Uh, and uh, it's fun to see. It brings some... Um, extra energy and gives them a chance to dwell in, dwell into a different genre than you usually hear from these types of groups ah love it well i don't know if i want they don't have to do an entire album but it would be fun to hear all five singer rock song someday because it's a because if you do this live, then you bring such energy with you, and you don't have to, and uh, you don't have to dance if you don't want to. Because rock brings this little type of energy that you. It's kind of like when you sing it. It's kind of like you want to release all the energy and share it with everyone watching. Ah, would love that. Well. Now, the last one will be Joy with uh, Mark from, is it NCT? I think so. I mean, there's so many, so many groups uh, these days that it's hard to keep up. <laughs> and I mean, is doesn't NCT have like 10 different units? <laughs> so, I don't know, it's more from NCT once. 27 or NCTU or I don't know <laughs> uh, But I'm pretty sure that NCT They actually don't have subunits. They have um, A different kind of system I think I think um, That SM is trying something a little bit different with them 
uh, so they have a lot of members but divided into different groups uh, group units that way um, it's not like they have to uh, do a, a subunit they already have lots of units to try different things with and it also gives uh, each member something to do uh, actually it's, it's pretty smart if it works out and from what I understand NCT I don't know if every single unit is doing really well but I do know that at least some of them are doing uh, well so who knows maybe that's something they might Try with a girl group, maybe. Um, but at the same time, uh, wouldn't it be fun to try um, a different concept? Like, maybe like uh, Dreamcaster, but um, I can't remember what uh, label Dreamcatcher is from. Well, anyway. Let's go to Joy X Mark Dream Me, an OST from The Ghost Detective, Part Six. In three, two, one, go. Oh. Another different uh, uh, song, uh, genre. Kind of like a, almost like a power ballad. Oh, he's a rapper. That was a nice contrast. The voices fit very well in this song and together. They, dip, uh, they bring a different color to the song. It's a loud song. That's why it's one guy. <laughs> Love her voice. She has a really nice Dance break. What? It's a, it's a break. To the bridge. Aha! 
interesting ending. <laughs> it's kind of like they ended with the breach. Well, well, uh, they. F hmm. That was interesting. I was almost kind of starting to get into the. Uh, I was getting into the ending there, and then, ha ha, I got you. <laughs> now we end. It's like, come on! I was getting into the mood there. Ah oh, well, fantastic song, and. Um, Kind of felt like uh, those 80s power ballads. Uh, oh. I don't know, it, it kind of feels like today is a bit more on the rock side <laughs> for, uh, from uh, Red Velvet. Very interesting. This has been a very fun uh, reaction to do. Three different songs. Two Wendy and one Joy. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please press the like button. Uh, comment below. If you haven't, please subscribe. Have a nice day and see you soon.